Hello everyone and welcome back to HUD Bricks. Today we'll be taking a look at my custom Lego Brick Bank mock and I absolutely love how this turned out and let's get into it. So right now on the screen you should be seeing the original brick bank and I made mine straight. It worked better for my city and I wanted to make my own custom mock. So without further ado, let's look at it at a minifigure's eye view. So here we are at the minifig eye level. You can see that we've got a clock up here, which I'll pan up so you can see it better. We also have those soft serve pieces there and silver colors for some great greebling detail. You can also see these stained glass windows right here, which look epic. We've also got this flower pot along with these nougat pieces right there, which I think look great for bricks. We've got this grand entrance with the gold bars, so you can come in. You can even see the teller back there to give you a warm welcome to the brick bank. We've also got this angel up here who looks great for some extra detailing. That might even be the bank's logo. You can also see these little lamps right here, which look great. And we've also got my homies. We've got the contest winner who just won 500 studs. Oh my word, that's a lot of studs. You can see that it says that you are paying it to the contest winner and that it's even signed by Imbob. You can see over here, we've got the reporter. She's got her camera ready to take pictures of the little contest winner. You can see over here, we've got soap and suds, your place to go to get your pants clean. You can see that up here we've got the pants which are just not great teal color and they just fell off the building and you also can see that we've got a dryer or washer either one right there and I think that looks like great for the logo you also see we've got this iconic lamp right here which comes in every modular building set and some great sidewalk detailing on the front you can see that the brick bank or the soap and suds laundromat is open. I like this little banner right up here. You have also see that it says wash, dry, fold, 24 hour service and you can open up the door to enter into the laundromat. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second story. Before we do that, I want to show you all the tile detailing. You can see a great tile detailing there and it's mainly just gray, good sidewalk. The reason I wanted to show you this is because I think it's the highlight of the building. I absolutely love all the detailing up here. I love these pieces in sand green for the windows. And we've also got these little fancy fences at the front. You can see we've got some like elvish keys is what they make me think of right here. Along with this shield, which is really cool. And I mean, it looks like a great little design. You also see that we have these pieces here used some, for some more detailing, which I think also look absolutely incredible. Along with, you can see the chandelier dangling inside of there. You can also see that we have all of these great textured bricks. Over here you can see that we have the bank manager's office which is really snazzy. You can also see we've got this kind of worn but cool looking roof along with maybe a gargoyle but I think it's a frog. Yeah, just recolored in gray and this thing is just to hoist stuff up and be able to like mount the clock or whatever you're wanting to do and I think this, this looks absolutely amazing. So my favorite thing about some of these modular buildings is how it just so seamlessly comes off. You first you take off the roof with that epic chandelier there and actually when you set it down it actually just folds in which is actually a really cool feature. Next up we can take off the second story and that just fell apart and voila. So let's go from bottom to top and take a look at the brick bank itself. So it's kind of hard to get in here and be able to see it from a bird's eye view but I'll try to do my best so you can see it but you can see right over here is where you can come in and be greeted by the teller who is standing behind the counter and I absolutely love how this counter turned out. You can see that you can just slip the money through those slots right there and it's got the little shields along with a small flower pot on the other side. You can also kind of see that great floor detailing right there with those Nexonite shield pieces in different colors. You can also see we've got the Golden Great Great Bridge over here and over here we've got a place with a quill and you can kind of just sign like checks or you can mail letters or whatever you're gonna do there and if I turn the building this way you could see that over here we've got a door so you can get back behind the counter and also access the safe now I really like how this looks but it's not only for looks you can't open the safe and you're like what actually you've got to turn it a certain way to be able to open it and in real life you could actually store your real valuables in there because it's actually kind of hard to get in <laughs> But you can see over here we've got a coin counter which is actually part of another feature. But I think that I really like this part and last but not least you've also got a little winding staircase over there in the corner to get up to the second story. 
So next up we've got the laundromat. It is a little hard to see in there, but you can see that it just has some regular tile detailing right there with some different tan studs in between the white plates. You can also see over here on the side, we've got a little bulletin board with several newspapers, which says that a tree came to life. Sure glad I'm not living in this city. And you can also see over here we have this clock along with a little lamp. I really like how this turned out and if I turn it over here you've got all the washers and dryers which is actually another special feature. Now last but not least over here we have of course the bank or the vault. You've got tons of stacks of money. Let's see if I can get you to see that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you really want that, yeah. So that's why the burglars are going to break in, and how they break in is through this vent right here. You can see that it just opens and closes, and it's kind of the bank's weak spot. But you can also see we've got some safe boxes over here. So I love how seamlessly this thing comes apart. You just take out this air vent, and then you can take out this whole big chunk of a thing. Let's see. It's not super seamless, but there we go. And it is actually all the washers and dryers and the safe boxes, which actually has a special feature, and I'm gonna show you that now. So I really like how all of these washers and dryers look, but you can see one of them is out of order with that red light, and there's a reason for that. Over here, we've got all the safe boxes, and if you open this one up with a little lock, you can get that money. But how that money got in there is when you th put it through this washer, it actually goes straight in that safe box there's money flying everywhere right now i don't understand that play feature though why are they wanting to give money to the bank but i mean it works and it's pretty cool even though it doesn't make a whole lot of sense comment down below if you know what they're saying or trying to do you can see right here we've got a little um detergent right here that you can put into your laundry and you've also got a coin counter right here and the way it works is you just slide your coins in from the slot side you can type in stuff on the keypad there and it basically counts it and it goes straight over to the teller and they can open it up like that now the safe boxes have several things inside including some diamonds which are inside of here you've also got on the top a few coins which look really good and i really like this little play feature so the last thing I want to show you in this alleyway, you can see that we have a little bucket right here to clean the clock whenever it needs that, or a bird poops on it. You can see right here we've got a ladder to climb up to the clock if it needs repairs or clean, and you've just got some different boxes, but this box is actually the box of the burglars, and he can use it to climb down into the vault. You can see we've got a mask right here and a little burglar hat along with a rope to get him down there. I think this is really cool and I really like how we can just put all this in a little box back here for the burglar to use when it's time. So that's it for the bottom floor. Let's go ahead and move that out of the way and bring the second floor in. So let's go ahead and tilt this up and see what what's popping in here. You can see we've got another staircase leading up to the roof. You've also got a slot for the staircase from the bottom floor to lead up to the second. You can see we've just got some railing throughout all these passageways to get over here to the secretary's desk. You can see the secretary has it really nice there. He's got his coffee machine in the back. He's got his clock. He's got his little laptop right there. And he's also got a lamp and a little coffee mug. You've got some drawers back there as well. But you can also see that he can keep warm. He's got a little fireplace there, which I think is really cool. And it's actually protruding by a half a brick, which I think is actually really cool. But you can see we've got the door here. You gotta go through the secretary to be able to make it in to the bank manager's office. So here's the bank manager's office. You can see he's got a painting of maybe his father before him who was the bank manager, but a really cool looking old guy right there. But you can see over here we have a lamp. We've also got a letter that he's stamping. You can see the stamp in his hand right now and a chair over here for his client or whoever's meeting with him to sit. Over here he's got his really fancy big boy chair that he can spin around in and move around in. Over here he's also got a little parrot statue on top of a chest of drawers. I think that's a really cool office and I wouldn't mind having it either. So let's go ahead and move this out of the way now and move the roof in and take a look at that. So I think the roof is one of the coolest things in the set. I think it has so much detailing and I showed you this earlier with all that great detailing there. 
but as I turn it around, you can see we've got the chimney where the burglar can go through to be able to make it into the vault. You also can see this from a different angle right there. It's the skylight, which I really like how it's bent and changed like that. And you can see the door to be able to get it up here from the second story. Uh, the roof is kind of bland from this side, but I think it looks great from the front. All right, so there's one last feature in this set before we get onto the minifigs and you have to put all of it together. I think it's actually kind of satisfying putting all of the different parts of it together like so. And then the burglar can get in. And I'm just gonna make her the burglar for now, but let's go ahead and move her on back there. So she gets her bucket of materials from the alleyway, climbs up to the roof. Next up, she puts her COVID mask on and her little disguise, and then you just bring her down there and then she's in the vault. And now how it works is that the partner then can drag the rope back up whenever she's done. But let's go ahead and take a look at her in the vault. So it worked, you can see the rope is hanging through here and she's in the vault. And then you can just drag her back up and, oh, she's stuck in the vault. Uh-oh, they're gonna get caught. Now how this works is you can see that the air vent just kind of opens up like this when they come down and they get direct access to the bank. But the thing is, if this is down, tough kitty said the kitty. So here are the first two minifigures on the left. We've got the contest winner and she has that great exclusive printed piece right there. And on the right, we have the reporter. You can see that this piece says the Brickbank Trust pay to the contest winner, 500 studs. And then it says valued customer and it's signed by Imbob. Don't know who Imbob is, probably the manager of the bank I'd say, but we, let's get that out of the way to see that great torso printing there. You can see she has a little ribbon for her contest win. She also has a little tie there and that cute little face. And now the original set came with a bunch of little mannequin faces, which I thought looked a little creepy. So I added my own faces for my mock, but these are what all the original faces looked like. Yeah, comment down below and tell me if you think that's creepy or not. But I decided to change it because LEGO just made it to where all the modular buildings have regular faces. So yeah, again, comment down below and tell me what you think. But you can see that she just has a regular kid face and purple pants, which I think are pretty cool. And then the reporter has that nice little short hair. You also, she has just a regular face and she's got a little butterfly tank top thingy. She's also got green pants and right there you can see that she's got her camera because she's a reporter. I mean, she could be a reporter, she could also be a home photographer, for, or she could even be this person's mom just taking pictures of her. So next up, we have the bank manager and his secretary. And again, these once had the creepy little mannequin faces, but I changed them. I used stubble for the bank manager and just a nice little glasses face for the secretary. You can see that the bank manager has his stamp of approval in his hand. He's stamping letters, stamping documents. You can see that he has a tie and a little vest with a pocket watch, which I think looks really good for him. He also has back printing right there with his little belt, I guess. And I think he's an overall great mini figure. On the right, we have the secretary. You can see his immediate nougat hair, glasses, and just a regular little suit um, shirt and a little bit of back printing. Two great mini figures, and let's go ahead and take a look at the last mini fig. So the teller is all alone. I feel really sorry for her, but you can see that she has that little necklace there, green shirt. She also has that tan hair, and if you take off her hair, you can see she also has a little smiling face in the back with some back printing. Overall, a good minifigure, good bank employee, and let's go ahead and get down to the nitty gritty. So if you're new to this channel or you haven't watched Nacho Libre, the nitty gritty is where I get down to my final thoughts or anything else I would like to say. So again, the original modular building was a corner building and I made it straight because it works best for my city. And be sure to subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss me placing this in the city and getting my city all set up if you like that type of stuff. But overall, this set, originally the retail price, I believe was $150. USD comment down below if it's something else that's just what I remember purchasing it at but it's a lot more expensive now of course because it's retired but I think this is one of my more favorite modular buildings I like the story behind it and all the extra play features so thank you guys so much for watching if you want to see more like this be sure to subscribe with notifications on so don't miss any of my other Lego modular building reviews and mocks 
Also, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it, and also comment down below with any other thoughts or ideas that you might have. Tell me if you like this set, if you have this set, or any other thoughts that you might have. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time on HUD Bricks.